anyway so yes I'm in the same shirt as I was last video because I'm trying to pre-record some videos while I have the time and I'm not running around with Sawyer doing stuff with Perfectly Posh which I will do a video about um but I wanted to do since I've been so awful this time a pregnancy update so today I am 30 weeks and one day um with a second baby boy it is crazy it is flown by so fast so I'm gonna kind of catch you guys up on what's been going on this pregnancy has basically been textbook of Sawyer so it hasn't been the most easiest pregnancy but it's been following Sawyer's pretty darn close so um yeah let's get started so starting off I found out I was pregnant on June 2nd of this year um something was nagging me I was like you know what I'm gonna take a test not a big deal and all of a sudden there was a second line and I was like holy moly so um I went and got more tests and sure enough so I called my doctor's office made an appointment we saw them at seven seven-ish weeks um and they sent me for an ultrasound and we saw little baby boy he was a little teeny tiny pee thing and um it was just amazing because I never saw Sawyer that little um so everything was great um the relationship portion of my life at that point was not very great but I was not gonna let that stop my happiness about this oh hello hello is that your train <laughs> do you want to come sit with me come sit with me Come sit with me. That's the door. Come here. That's the night switch. Can mama talk? You say, shh, shh. Shh, shh. Yes, that's the camera. Yeah. So anyway, we um, went for the 12 week ultrasound. Me and my mom and Sawyer and we saw your little brother. Yeah. We saw him. Um, and everything looked good as far as checking the back of his neck and his nose for um, Down syndrome. Everything looked great. Um, so we just kept moving forward. The only issue in this pregnancy that I did not have with Sawyer's was my blood sugar is very, very low. Um, even eating throughout the day, my blood sugar really doesn't get over 80. So I've been saying this to my doctor over and over and over and he's not listening so I just did my glucose test which I'll get to in a minute and um I think he's gonna have a shock waiting for him so um next we went for our anatomy scan and the first time we went for the anatomy scan they told me well we can't get all of his measurements so you're gonna have to come back okay no problem went back a second time um and they said we couldn't get all the pictures of his heart and had basically said they were worried about something they didn't really say anything as well as his kidneys being dilated because there's fluid so they don't know if there's a blockage or um, or what's going on with that it could just be extra fluid that'll eventually go away so basically they just said to come back we're gonna check his heart measurements and um, his kidneys again so long story short they got all the measurements they needed. The only thing we have to go back for is his um, kidney checkup in two weeks at 32 weeks. Just to make sure everything's okay with that. Um, if not, then they do an ultrasound after he's born and check on them again. And if surgery is needed, we'll do that. And if not, we'll go from there. So at this present moment, we're going to check on the fluid in his kidneys at 32 weeks. So that is going on. Um, he is measuring about a week and a half to two weeks bigger than he should be, but I'm not too worried about that. Um, and what else? Um, there's something else I was going to mention. Yeah, I can't remember. So, um, that is basically about it for 30 weeks. I have lost 
30, 35 pounds throughout this pregnancy. Um, but I am up, I want to say nine pounds. Well, up nine pounds from the 30 to 35 that I lost. Um, I was up 12, but then I lost another three, which I think was just built up salt and water retention and stuff like that. So I'm assuming at this point he's about three pounds. So out of that nine pounds, three is probably him. And then we have his amniotic fluid, um, excess blood that I have that's flowing to both me and him. So a good probably six pounds is fluid, baby, and blood. <laughs> and probably placenta. So right now my weight gain is probably about three pounds at 30 weeks. And I'm trying to keep it that way. I This past week to two weeks have been awful. I have had this insane hunger. And so I'm trying to kind of settle that down, be aware of the food choices I am making because I gained a good 30 pounds of the last 10 weeks with Sawyer and that's not what I want to do this time. So, um, and I'm drinking tons and tons of water. I have never, ever, ever been a water person. Ever. I hate plain water. And in this past, I want to say week, two weeks, I've gone through almost a whole case of water bottles, which I'm very, very proud of. And I've only added water flavor to one bottle out of that. So I'm hoping I'm on the right track to kind of drink plain water and be able to because I really want to nurse this baby. I still have not done his name reveal and I need to do that. But I have, I really, really want to nurse him. So I'm trying to get into the mode of just drinking plain water and frequently. So I usually go through three to four bottles of water each day um, on top of whatever else I'm drinking throughout the day. So I'm going, I'm surpassing what I need to have each day. It's just that I want to switch all of that to water. Um, so yesterday we had the 3D40 ultrasound. If you remember, I had one with Sawyer too, and it was very scary because they are so similar in looks. So once he comes out, I'll have to compare pictures. Their noses may be a little bit different. I'm not sure. It's hard to say what his nose looks like because he's literally pressed up against the placenta. So it could be putting his nose down. We don't know. But uh, the eye spacing is different too. So if you've noticed, I don't know if anybody's noticed, me and Sawyer have eyes that are further apart. Um, so I don't want to say normal because there's not really a normal, but other people's eyes are usually closer together. Um, my, me and Sawyer have eyes that are further apart. So looking at um, this baby, he has the big eyes like Sawyer, but they're closer together. So it'll be really neat to see how they differ as far as looks, but how similar they are. Um, it looks like they have the same lips. Like I said, not really sure about the nose. Um, and yeah, it was really cool to see. I forgot to ask her about hair because Sawyer came out with a good amount of hair, if you guys remember. Um, but then he lost it all. So it'll be nice to see how much they differ, especially in size, because this baby also looks very chunky compared to Sawyer, too. So I think they're going to be built very differently. So it'll be exciting to see. Um... So, so far for him, I just washed the car seat because Sawyer was using his infant car seat up until he grew out of it. It was in my mom's vehicle, so she had a car seat. Um, so I wiped it down. Um, I washed the cover and the hood. Um, so it's all ready to go for him. I just got to put it back together. Um, and there's not really that much else to do. We are going to be bed sharing again. Sawyer still sleeps with me, so what I'm going to do is turn my bed from how it is now. I'll have to show you and put the crib mattress up so it's, excuse me, parallel with my bed so he has his own space in Sawyer's and kicking him in the face. The problem with Sawyer moving over to that is he's so used to the soft um, mattress of mine that he will not sleep on the crib mattress. So um, that's what we're gonna do as far as sleeping arrangements with both boys. Um, so yeah, that's basically about it. That's how much I have to catch up with you guys on this pregnancy. It's been basically textbook. Um, I vomited once, um, except for prenatals were causing me to vomit at one point. Um, 
I lost more weight than I did with Sawyer's pregnancy, but all in all, I've craved the same exact things. Um, it's just a matter of waiting for him. I am due, for those of you who are not familiar, I am due February 11th of 2017. So we'll see what when he shows up. So both boys, they're going to have an age gap of about 21 months. So just under two years. Um, and also, this is what I was going to say. I know a lot of you know that Sawyer was a C-section. Um, and this time I am looking to go for my V-back. So <laughs> we'll see how that goes. Um, we just have to keep an eye on my fluid levels because that's the whole reason I was induced with Sawyer was I literally ran out of fluid. There was nothing left. So I'm going to be asking my doctor next time I see him. I see him on this upcoming Friday if starting at 35 weeks we can do um, non-stress tests until I have him. So I'm going to say until my due date because my doctor induces at 41 weeks. So just to keep an eye on that and if there's any sign of it decreasing, I'd rather be induced while I still have fluid left than none at all because I'm positive, like 99% positive, that's the reason I had the C-section with Sawyer was there wasn't any fluid to kind of cushion the contractions and it was just they were squeezing on his cord and he wasn't getting oxygen. So I'd like to avoid that this time because if I have to be induced, I'd rather be induced while the conditions are prime and I'm able to go for a VBAC. So that is where we're at. Um, if you guys have any questions pertaining to the pregnancy, either one of the boys, um, whatever, leave them down below and I'll try to get a question and answer video up so I can um, kind of update you guys on what's going on. So that is everything. Um, like I said, leave any comments. I will see you guys in the next video and thank you so much for watching. Bye!